Hello YouTube, Annabelle56 here and here is a review of some character options figures that are quite rare and the Top Trumps Police Box um, set. Okie dokie, I'm going to start with the Top Trumps Police Box set. So this is the front police score box, the top side. Got Top Trump's logo, collector's tin, Doctor Who logo, BBC on the side. Same there, same there. There isn't any legal garb on this, which is interesting. It opens like this, and you get two packs of cards. Okay, this pack of cards here, if we can just get them all out without them sort of like going everywhere. Um, it's interesting because you don't actually get the 11th Doctor. This is the Heroes and Enemies set. You get William Hartnell, Patrick Troughton, John Pertwee, Tom Baker, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy, Paul McGann, Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, and no 11th Doctor. There is no Matt Smith in this set, which is really bizarre. The Master, Amy, Clara, Donna Noble, Captain Jack, Martha, Rory, Rose, Ice Warrior, Madame Kavorian, The Silence, Sontaran, Weeping Angels, Upgraded Cybermen, Daleks, notice this is the Bronze Dalek, and notice this, here we have the new Dalek paradigm, but notice the Dalek is now red, metallic red, with um, silver Dalek bumps, as they are known, and black. So he looks much more menacing. And if you actually compare... Oh, look, there's Davros. It's always nice to have her. If you compare the um, new paradigm with the bronze Dalek, it looks um, far more menacing. Um, but the bronze Dalek still owns, of course, but it does look far more menacing. Let's get them in the right order, because order matters, well, apparently. Okay. Here we have the Crooked Man. I think that's from Hyde. Uh, Great Intelligence and the Whisperman. Um, I find that set really weird, because there is no 11th Doctor in it. Um how to play, other sets you can get, in that, other merchandise and a how to play bit. So that's the um, Heroes and Enemies set, and they go in there, and then it's basically a two set collection for a tenner. Bit of a rip, really, and this is stories. And we have An Unearthly Child, The Daleks. Obviously, these are first Doctor stories. Um, the Tenth Planet, The Macra Terra, The Abominable Snowman, The Ice Warrior, The War Games. These are Patrick Troughton ones. The Spearhead from Space, John Pertwee. Day of the Dalek, John Pertwee, The Time War, Plant of the Spiders, Sarah Jane, Genesis of the Daleks, Talons of Wing Chang, Snare and Tom Baker, Sharda. That was, um, parts of that were filmed, but it was never broadcast, but it's now a book, which I've got a copy of, and I will show There you are, Douglas Adams, Sharda. There you are. Not got very far, though. And I'm going to show you this collection that Mum got me. Time the Mammoth Book of Time Travel Sci-Fi. Not for children, this. Um, but it contains all of the short stories that are famous. So it's quite a good read. Okay, that's mini review. Okay, Kinder, so Fifth Doctor. Um, Earthshock, Fifth Doctor. Resurrection of the Daleks. Um, Sixth Doctor, Colin Baker, Trial of a Time Lord. I really enjoyed that series. 
Remembrance of the Daleks. Oh, awesome. It's Seth McCoy story. Curse of Fenric is one of the best Doctor Who stories. Doctor Who the movie, Paul McGann, Rose, so now we're in Christopher Eccleston land. The Impossible Planet, Satan Pits in our own tenth Doctor land, Utopia. The End of Time, Vincent and the Doctor, so now we're in the eleventh Doctor. Doctor's Wife, look, this is like the only shot of Matt Smith. Angels Take Manhattan, The Snowmen, and the name of the Doctor, so just whisper them in there. So, that is interesting, because I think the merchandise is slowly trying to wean people off Matt Smith, because he's not the Doctor anymore. Peter Capaldi is. Woohoo! Okay, so that's that collection. Nine ninety nine from the Biff from the Forbidden Planet in London, because I went there um, over the bank holiday. Um, I also managed to get this, the Underhenge Dalek, which previously you could only get with the Toys R Us um, set that was like a set of six figures that included the um, Ironside Daleks, um, the Eternal Dalek, Matt Smith's um, 11th Doctor, and a couple of other monsters, well, three other monsters. So this is the Underhenge Dalek. I got it for 5 99 I tried looking for it on Amazon. It's not there. Um, neither is the Underhedge Cyberman, which is there. So this is, I think, quite a rare figure. Reasonable price too. And I rather like this version of the Dalek Paradigm. Quite cool. I'm going to go and get my other figure set. So if we compare it to my 11th Doctor and the Paradigm Dalek, which has got the nice um, blue metallic paint um, on. And there's my Underhenge Dalek. This is the back. doesn't have any blurb about it. And like this set, which is just awesome. Apart from the fact that, the ele that none of the Doctors in these sets have sonic screwdrivers. I think that's the only thing that lets it down. Which is why this set will remain... Um, it Packaging. That was $19.99 from Toys R Us. Good old Toys R Us. Okay, these are some rare items um, that I got from the BBC shop. Um, this is the Rory um, Williams figure. Here he is. There is um, a Rory Williams figure where you can get a red shirt and a blue uh, body warmer. In this one, Rory, Rory has got um, a grey shirt and a blue body warmer, warmer and it looks, uh, or a bomber jacket, whatever you want to call it, and a white t-shirt underneath, and denim jeans, I think. Here's the blurb. It's a rare figure. You can only get it from the BBC shop. I also got the 10th Doctor um, translucent well, 10th Doctor um, hologram figure. You can see the stripes on him. He doesn't come with a sonic screwdriver and he comes in this plastic bag. Um, he's quite a rare figure. You can only get him from the BBC shop. And the only thing that's sort of painted are his eyes. His hair does have a slight brown tinge to it. And his tie. And he has these silver stripes. So, there he is. And that's the figure in he comes loose like this and he will be remaining in his packaging um for all time yay um so that's that eh, there's the wheels of the underhinge dalek i really want to get it out of its packaging but um i want to keep it in because i think this would be an awesome dalek to play with i think i should have got two because they were at such a reasonable price um okay so that's my video um you know what to do subscribe comment rate like talk. Bye!